They came with their flowers, their CDs, their cameras and magazines. They came in all shapes, all sizes, all ages. And while they waited for him to appear, they sang his songs in English. And in Spanish. Waiting in the rain and in the scorching heat, waiting for a brief glimpse. All right, it's a pleasure. Police say there has been nothing like this since the hysteria over the Beatles in the 60s. Ricky Mania in New York. In Los Angeles. In Toronto. When you look at him, you see these girls crying, Ricky, Ricky, we love you. What do you think? It's, uh, it's flattering. It's good for the ego, though. That's <laughs> good for the ego. Good for the Martin marketing machine. Please welcome Ricky Martin. Ricky Martin. Muy caliente, Ricky Martin. It has gone into overdrive, operating at warp speed since his appearance at the Grammys. Good for the media as well, rife with rumors about his likes, his dislikes, his love life. Is he spiritual? Is he straight? Is he gay? A lot has been written about you, a lot has been said about you. Are there any misconceptions? Yeah, yeah, but you know what? Um, this is, this is how it goes. This is a show business, which is full of fantasies. With me, you can fantasize however you want to. It doesn't matter. When people don't have enough information, they start inventing. It's okay, I don't blame them. I, uh, I, I know what I give, I know what I keep. And he keeps a lot, has become quite adept at deflecting questions. In interview after interview, does it deliberately, does it well. How are you going to remain in control and steady and not change with all of this hype happening around you? Meditation is very important. And, uh, you know, the priority for me every morning is to be impressed by things. Simple things. Is he good? I don't wear a mask to go on stage. I'm just myself. This is me. What would he change? I'm so hard on myself. I don't give myself any credit. I don't give myself any credit. And it's... And it's not pretty. I've asked you some pointed personal questions, mm -hmm. and you have, in many ways, avoided giving me a deeply personal answer. You've given me an answer, mm -hmm. but has it given me enormous insight into who you are? Um, good journalists, they take you to places that you don't want to go. Mm -hmm. It's like, a, like an eternal psychoanalysis. And, uh, and maybe you don't want to go to those places in life because, you know, you, you're not ready to deal with them. I give you what I want the audience to get from me. And what does the audience get? I will remember this for the rest, rest of my life. He's gorgeous. He's gorgeous. The way he sings, the way he moves. How often? They don't care about the marketing. Don't care about the hype. Don't even care how candid he is in interviews. They just want to be there to scream. Or to cry. Or to get his autograph. <laughs> to be part of the moment, that is Ricky Martin. <laughs>